What's going on, Wolfpack? Time again for another WolfofBricks.com update. I am Jim, and of course, this is where we talk about LEGO investing and reselling. So before we get into the main topic, I'm going to talk about a couple things first. You're looking at YouTube right now, not, and I'm not sure if many caught the Dave Ramsey video. Gosh, I could talk to you about Dave Ramsey forever, where they do a story called is lego the next big investment and they pretty much just carve up lego investors and i put in the comments section right here wolf of bricks has entered the chat you will get a video response to this ignorance and what they said is ignorant because they're talking about topics that they just have no idea of i don't know their names they didn't say their names on here i'm just gonna refer to them as freaking frack uh, just for the purpose of this video but i'm not gonna get into it that much the reason why i'm bringing this up is because i've actually had dave ramsey as a target to do a video for the longest time. If you like people like Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, things of that sort, they really don't support anything like Lego reselling or any type of entrepreneurial whatever. So I'm not going to get into the thick of this, but I did want to just point this out there. I have been thinking about doing a Dave Ramsey video on why he pretty much has everything wrong if that is something you're interested in i will go ahead and do it just put a comment in the comment section below if you're not interested in it then you know we'll just let the marketplace of ideas decide what's going on the only other thing i'm going to add is you know people like dave ramsey they talk about the rice and beans they talk about driving a 20 year old honda accord to create wealth and things like that the only thing i'm going to say to you is i'm sure everybody maybe not everybody but a lot of people know very wealthy people and i challenge all of you to go up to those people who are wealthy and they may be millionaires is to approach them and say hey you have a lot of money how long were you driving that beat up car to create generational wealth well they will answer to you that they never <laughs> drove a 15 year old honda accord or a 25 year old toyota camry to you know do the dave ramsey recipe and i'm just mentioning that because when snake oil salesmen like him like to approach <laughs> people that are in debt and have them buy their product and then wrap religion around it you know there's a lot of emotion there's a lot of heartfeltness and people will just gravitate to that snake oil salesman so again just let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a retort uh, to this video and i would like to credit solid brick studios for the inspiration of this video i like to give credit where credit is due i'm certainly not plugging him he doesn't need my help he has half a million subscribers holy manoli but he does a video where he purchases a lot of modulars for a lego city and a lot of them are used and that made me think what is the cheapest way to go out and purchase modulars right so this i don't want to say is not a lego investing video it is how to buy low video definitely and this is something that you know we're all resellers or most of us are and we're also builders and collectors at the same time so I just wanted to plant some seeds and have everybody look at what I present to you and see if this is useful when it comes to purchasing modulars for a city and who knows if you do purchase these modulars and they are used or maybe new even though they're already retired you may be able to make a profit off of them so let's get into it so right now you're looking at amazon.com this is the lego creator fire brigade set number 10197 this is probably my number one favorite modular i love this set i was into reselling when this set came out but i was at the point where i was like man do i really want to spend 150 dollars on a lego set to resell and i know a lot of people that did i was not one of them but i would have loved to have just purchased one just so i could have on my shelf and look at and when we go to camel 3x you can see the lowest price right here is 119 and immediately after it retired it was off to the races i mean it really wasn't that long where it went as high as 400 dollars. that was crazy and when you look at the chart you can see there's a lot of constipation right here but sure enough whenever the covid bump happened <laughs> and a lot of adults with money got into it that weren't you know originally into lego that's whenever it really really took off 
I'm really not a fan of LEGO remaking sets, but I think it would benefit LEGO if they made another modular firehouse. And it would also benefit the adult fans of LEGO out there too. It would be really cool. Next up is the LEGO Creator Palace Cinema set number 10232. And I picked four sets for this video, right? I wanted to pick sets that were mostly popular, well, all popular and well-known sets too. Like everybody is familiar with the Palace Cinema. Everybody is familiar with the Green Grocer and things of, of that sort too. When I purchased this, I got it for $150. And when you go to Camel 3X, it was pretty good. Once you got clear of that lack of price action, it was totally off to the races. And again, this is <laughs> right around the COVID bump, right? The cheapest you could have got this for on Amazon was $88. That is insane. It's insane. So I mentioned that I did purchase the Palace Cinema set. I no longer have it. I did give it away in a previous giveaway a couple years ago. I do encourage everybody to like and subscribe to this channel. We are every month during 2023 giving away Lego sets entirely free. Free shipping to anywhere all over the globe. It's a pretty good deal. We recently announced the last winner and of course in the month of February we will be having another giveaway and it will be another and I think my last copy of the Best Bin Duel. So please feel free to like and subscribe. And lastly, the Lego Architecture Town Hall set number 10224. Again, this was a set that was available whenever I started reselling. And I missed the Fire Brigade and I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to grab me a Town Hall whenever I have the cash. But for those people that were in the mix back when this set came out, this set abruptly retired. And I, I mean, I remember reading about it on Brick Picker. It, it abruptly retired more than the first tumbler, the, the $200 tumbler. And this right here, once this set was no longer available, it did go through the roof. When you go to Camel 3X, boom, you could see right here, the lowest you could have got it for was $200, not long after it retired. It went straight up to $600 because it wasn't available for that long of a period. Everybody thought, oh, I'll just get it eventually. Well, guess what? That eventually never came. There is a little bit of constipation right here, but again, sure enough, when COVID hit, it was off to the races. It's interesting right here how it went down a little bit. I'm not sure what exactly happened there. I doubt they found any inventory. So there it is. Now, when you go to the Excel, now I do have a lot to unpack, right? Because I looked at Amazon, I looked at eBay, I looked at Bricklink, right? So in the red, you have, of course, the sales that are the highest price. In the green, you have the sales that are the lowest price, right? So I mentioned Green Grocer early in this video. The reason why I didn't pull it up on Amazon is because I didn't see it on Amazon, right? But it is available on eBay for $1,600.54. That was the average price. I took the last three sales of that set and I averaged it together. So that's like an average mean. The cheapest you could have got this for on Bricklink was with used bricks at $1,144.91. And that also includes no minifigs too. So if you wanted to do the bare bones and just have used bricks for a modular to, you know, create a city, that's the route to do it. To piecemeal it together on Bricklink new, it's actually more than the eBay price. So why would you want to do it that way? And also the Bricklink price that you see for the new and used doesn't include shipping either. So, you know, if that's something that you're really wanting to save money on, you'd have to go to Bricklink and see what the shipping is for that. I just did 90% of the work. You just need to do 10% of the work. And an option that I did not add in there was actually purchasing the set new or used on Bricklink. I was piecemealing the sets together for the new and used, but you could go on Bricklink and see if it is cheaper than Amazon or eBay. And of course, I didn't include Facebook marketplaces, Craigslist, all those other platforms, right? So there is a pretty good chance you could find these sets for cheaper, but I wanted to do a little compare and contrast if you wanted to go 
you know, brand new with the box sealed everything versus the used bricks, bare bones with no minifigures, right? So you're looking about at a $2,000 difference, which is a lot of money if you're trying to, you know, start a Lego city and have those hallmark sets out there. The only other thing that I'm going to mention is I hope this motivates people to not get those original modular sets, right? Use some creativity. Go online and purchase some unique building instructions from some of the mock designers out there and have buildings that you know a lot of people don't see i think it's kind of boring if i have a lego city and i go to my buddy's house and they have a lego city and i say oh there's your green grocer that's cool i have a green grocer too whoopee i mean it needs to have some identity not every city should have the daily bugle or maybe the ghostbusters the ghostbusters firehouse is pretty cool so i'll let that one pass but just some food for thought wanted to have a fun video that wasn't straight pure 100 percent capitalism and could also still save somebody some money that's it my friends hope you enjoyed the video as always don't forget to like and subscribe once again i'm jim with wolfabricks.com always go out there and get it <laughs>